Welcome to Happy Yoga with Sarah Starr. Happy Yoga is designed to bring you the beauty of Mother Nature as we take time to bring more balance into the mind, body, and breath. Relax amid the tranquil beach setting, drawing in calm, soothing energy from the ocean waves as we focus on gentle seated postures to strengthen the legs while opening the hips, combined with upper body moves to stretch the shoulders and chest using a chair for support. Relax and remember your happy yoga smile. Namaste. Namaste. Let's begin our practice focusing on three-part breath. Sitting tall with the shoulders relaxed, place the hands over the belly. Inhale, feel the navel move away from the spine. And on the exhale, feel the navel slowly draw back towards the spine, breathing in and out through the nose. Adding the second part, place the right hand over the right rib cage. Inhale from the belly to the ribs, feeling the expansion of your breath. Exhale, belly, then ribs. Adding the third part, place the left hand over the heart. Inhale, belly, ribs, and chest, feeling the heart buoyant. Exhale, belly, ribs, and chest. Continue with this smooth, even breath as we move through our practice. Beginning with the hand and wrist stretch, interlace the fingers and press the palms away. Alternate between lengthening through the wrists and stretching through the fingers. Pause with the fingers interlaced. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, lower the arms halfway, rounding the spine, chin towards the chest. Continue wrapping this movement around your breath. Inhale, reach the arms skyward, lifting the heart, tilting the pelvis forward lightly for a mild back bend. And on the exhale, round the spine, sending the points between the shoulder blades back, scooping the tailbone under slightly, chin towards the chest. Release and pause, transitioning into a gentle stretch for the wrists, forearms, and fingers. Reach the right arm forward, rotating the right palm away. Starting with the thumb, use the left hand to gently stretch, waking up the wrists, forearms, and fingers. Moving to the index finger, spreading the fingers wide, pressing out through the wrist. Moving to the middle finger, the ring finger, and lastly the pinky finger, spreading the fingers wide, stretching the ligaments all the way up into the arm. Release, shake the fingers out, loosen, flick the fingers, moving the energy. Repeating to the opposite side, rotate the left palm away, using the right hand to clasp the thumb with the fingertips pointing downward. As you continue to gently stretch one finger at a time, imagine saturating any tight, dull areas with the easy rhythm of your breath. Release and loosen. Revitalizing the hands as you flick the fingers. 
Adding one more wrist stretch variation. With the tops of the hands pressing, rotate out, down, and inwards. Continue with this movement, spreading the fingers wide, pressing the tops of the hands lightly together. Keeping the tops of the hands lightly pressing, reverse directions, rotate the hands in, down, and away. Release the hands, continue sitting tall, place the fingertips to the shoulders, touch the elbows front, open wide, lift up, touch front. Continue to refine this movement by softening the muscles at the base of the neck, stretching across the chest, shoulders, and upper back. Reverse directions, touch the elbows front, lift up, open wide, touch front. Keep flowing with this movement, allowing the breath to dissolve the stuck spots. Release. Transitioning into a modified shoulder stretch, reach the right arm across the body, using the left arm to gently guide it in. Reach strongly through the right fingertips as you continue to sit tall with the shoulders back. Release and repeat to the opposite side. Energetically reaching through the left fingertips, keeping the shoulders down and back. Release, transitioning into dynamic arm raises. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, lower the arms, sweeping back. Continue coordinating this movement with your breath, improving circulation in the upper body, stretching the arms and shoulder joints. Holding with the arms overhead, bend the right arm reaching between the shoulder blades. Use the left hand to gently guide the right arm in along the right side of the head, stretching the right elbow to the sky for modified archer arms. Continue to firm the shoulder blades against the back ribs while lightly lifting the heart. Release and repeat to the opposite side. Bend the left arm reaching between the shoulder blades. Use the right hand to gently guide the left arm in along the left side of the head. Continue sitting tall with the left elbow pointing skyward and the chin level with the earth. Stay connected to your breath as you release and pause. Transitioning into a seated twist variation, walk the feet over to the right side of the chair. Inhale, reach the arms skyward, lengthening the spine. Exhale, gently twist, clasping the back of the chair, maintaining the hips facing right, twisting from the belly, ribs, and chest. And with each inhale, we lengthen the spine, and with each exhale, using the clasp of the chair as added leverage, aiding the left side body and coming around to the right, deepening this twist.
Exhale, slowly unwind and repeat to the opposite side. Walk the feet over to the left side of the chair. Inhale, reach the arms skyward, lifting up and out of the waist. Exhale, twist, clasping the back of the chair. Keep the legs active, maintaining the hips facing left. Allow this twisting action to originate from the base of the spine upward, revitalizing the spine and internal organs. Exhale, slowly unwind and return to center. Transitioning into a modified crescent pose, walk the feet over to the right side of the chair. Maintain the hips facing right. With the right thigh to the chair, extend through the left leg. Keep the left hand to the right thigh for support. Or to increase this stretch, reach the left arm skyward. Stay connected to your breath, keeping the legs active. With the front knee aligned over the front ankle pressing through the ball of the back foot. Adding the archer arms variation, bend the left arm reaching between the shoulder blades. Use the right hand to guide the left arm in along the left side of the head. Continue lifting up and out of the waist, lightly firming the lower ribs in, lengthening the tailbone towards the earth. Release the clasp, reach the arms skyward, repeating the sequence to the opposite side. Walk the feet over to the left side of the chair. With the left thigh to the chair, extend through the right leg, keeping the right hand to the front thigh for support or reaching the right arm skyward. Maintain the front shin vertical with the front knee aligned over the front ankle, pressing through the ball of the back foot, lengthening the tailbone towards the earth. Adding the archer arms variation, bend the right arm reaching between the shoulder blades. Use the left hand to gently guide the right arm in along the right side of the head. Breathe as you firm the shoulder blades against the back ribs, opening across the chest and shoulders. Release the clasp. Reach the arm skyward, returning to center. Repeating modified crescent pose to the opposite side, walk the feet over to the right side of the chair. Maintain the hips facing right with the right thigh to the chair, extend through the left leg, coming onto the ball of the left foot with the heel lifting. With the hands to the hips, feel the tailbone lengthening towards the earth, adding a chest and shoulder stretch. Reach back to clasp the forearms, keeping the shoulders relaxed and the chest lifting. To increase this stretch, interlace the fingers, straightening the arms, lengthening the knuckles away, lightly firming the lower ribs in. Continue lengthening through the crown of the head as you draw the shoulder blades firmly into the upper back supporting the lift of the chest. Slowly release, repeating the sequence to the opposite side. Walk the feet over to the left side of the chair. With the left thigh to the chair, extend through the right leg, aligning the front knee over the front ankle with the front shin vertical. Placing the hands to the hips, lengthen the tailbone towards the earth, lightly lifting the lower belly, Adding a chest and shoulder stretch, clasp the forearms behind the back. Continue lightly firming the lower ribs in, keeping the shoulders down and back, lifting the heart skyward. To increase this stretch, release the clasp, interlace the fingers, straightening the arms, lengthening the knuckles away. Maintain the energy and alignment in the legs as you continue lengthening through the crown of the head, drawing the shoulder blades firmly into the upper back, lifting the chest. Slowly release and return to center. Transitioning into modified warrior two, walk the feet over to the right side of the chair. 
Keep the right thigh to the chair, extending through the left leg, opening the hips wide. Align the front heel with the back heel, pressing through the outer edge of the back foot. When you're ready, raise the arms parallel to the earth, stretching from the space between the shoulder blades. Maintain the alignment in the legs as you reach the left arm across the body, using the right arm to guide it in, keeping the shoulders relaxed, reaching energetically through the left fingertips. Stay connected to your breath as you keep the sides of the torso equally long, shoulders over the pelvis, and the front knee over the front ankle. Release and return to center, repeating Modified Warrior Two to the opposite side. Walk the feet over to the left side of the chair, keeping the left thigh to the chair, extend through the right leg, pressing through the outer edge of the back foot, opening across the hips. Raise the arms parallel to the earth, feeling the shoulders relaxed while lengthening the sides of the neck. Continue cultivating awareness, maintaining the strength and energy in the legs as you press the thigh bones back into the back body and the sit bones forward into the front body at equal rate, opening the hips. Adding a gentle shoulder stretch, reach the right arm across the body, use the left arm to guide it in, keeping the shoulders down and back reaching energetically through the right fingertips. Continue breathing deeply, maintaining the alignment in the legs, lengthening the tailbone towards the earth, lightly lifting the lower belly. Release and return to center. Transitioning into Modified Eagle Pose. Open the arms wide, keeping the elbows bent, rotating the palms upward. Scoop the right arm under the left. Send the arm bones forward. Fingertips point to the sky. With the backs of the hands facing each other, or to move deeper and if space allows, press the hands together. Cross the right leg over the left. Squeeze the thigh bones together as you continue to lift the ribs up and out of the waist, feeling the back of the neck long, chin level with the earth. Slowly unwind, returning to center. Repeat to the opposite side. Open the arms wide with the palms up, elbows bent. Scoop the left arm under the right. Continue with the backs of the hands facing each other. Or if space allows, press the hands together. Lifting the arm bones vertical, fingertips point to the sky. Cross the left leg over the right. Squeeze the thigh bones together, continuing to sit tall, feeling the spine vertical, growing out of the pelvis, while lightly lifting the lower belly. Slowly unwind and return to center. Sitting tall, draw the right knee into the chest. Place the right ankle over the left thigh, keeping the right foot lightly flexed. Continue sitting upright, relaxing the right thigh open. Or to increase this stretch, clasp the hands beneath the chair. Slowly lengthen the torso forward, out over the legs. Folding forward from the hip creases, breathing wide into the outer right hip.
Inhale, lift the torso to upright. Transitioning into modified tree pose. Maintain the legs, placing the hands in prayer position. To increase this stretch, reach the arms overhead, keeping the shoulders relaxed. If space allows, pressing the hands together overhead as you continue to relax the right thigh open, lengthening the tailbone towards the earth while lightly firming the lower ribs in. Slowly release and return to center. Repeating this sequence to the opposite side. Sitting tall, draw the left knee into the chest. Place the left ankle over the right thigh, keeping the left foot lightly flexed. Continue sitting upright, or to increase this stretch, clasp the hands beneath the chair. Lengthen the torso forward out over the legs, folding forward from the hip creases. Stay connected to your breath, adjusting subtly in and out to find where you have the most ease and freedom of movement, breathing wide into the outer left hip. Inhale, lift the torso to upright, transitioning into modified tree pose, placing the hands to prayer position. Relaxing the left thigh open. To increase this stretch, reach the arms overhead. Lengthening the tailbone towards the earth. Lightly lifting the lower belly. If space allows, press the hands together overhead, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Slowly release and return to center. Sitting tall, draw the right knee into the chest. Place the right ankle over the left thigh. Keeping the right foot where it is, hug the right knee in towards the chest. Use the left hand to clasp, adding a gentle twist. With the sternum lifting and the spine long, use the right hand behind you for support. Turning from the navel, ribs, and chest. Stretching through the right outer thigh and hip. Slowly unwind and return to center, repeating to the opposite side. Sitting tall, draw the left knee into the chest. Place the left ankle over the right thigh. Adding a gentle twist, using the right hand to clasp. Rotating the torso to the left. Continue lengthening from the base of the spine upward. Using the left hand behind you for support. Exhale to unwind, returning to center. Transitioning into a modified seated forward bend. Extend the right leg forward, placing the hands to the left thigh for support. Slowly lengthen the torso forward, folding from the hip creases. Keeping the right leg active by flexing through the right heel. Inhale, lift the torso to upright, repeating to the opposite side. Extend the left leg, flexing through the heel, placing the hands to the right thigh for support. Keeping the spine long as you lengthen the torso forward, folding from the hip creases, drawing the inner groins deep into the pelvis, while rotating the upper thighs inward slightly.
Inhale, lift the torso to upright and return to center. Transitioning into a modified cat-cow stretch. Placing the hands to thighs. Inhale, lift the heart, tilting the pelvis forward lightly. Exhale, round the spine, chin towards the chest. Continue wrapping this movement around your breath. With each inhale, lift the heart skyward, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, tilting the pelvis forward lightly, creating a mild back bend. And with each exhale, rounding the spine, sending the points between the shoulder blades back, scooping the tailbone under slightly, chin towards the chest. Release and return to center. Begin to rub the hands together vigorously, creating warmth, energy. Place the cup palms over the eyes and feel the prana creating balance, releasing tension around the eyes, behind the eyes, and in the mind. Take deep nourishing breaths and then release the hands, moving into final relaxation. Find yourself in a comfortable position, sitting tall with your shoulders relaxed. Cultivating awareness as you allow the breath to help you get centered. Simply paying attention to each inhalation and exhalation. Continue noticing the breath letting go of any unnecessary effort in the body as you rest. You can stay here resting as long as you'd like, and when you're ready, begin to deepen the breath, waking the body up adding some gentle movement. Stretch and reach overhead, placing the hands in prayer position, allowing a moment to honor yourself. Namaste. Now that was good.